This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. I'm Brian Allen. A recent rise in the number of homicides in Sioux Falls continues as the city's eighth this year occurred over the weekend. The police chief says while it adds on statistically to this year, these crimes are not random and he says not the new normal. Cooper Steamer has our top story tonight at 6. Cooper, good evening. Yeah, Brian and Andrea, a residence near the intersection of North Prairie Avenue and Bailey Street is the site of the latest homicide investigation in Sioux Falls. What started as a call to police to force the victim from that home has now joined in as another shooting death in the city as of recent. The body of Casey Schaefer marks the eighth homicide victim of 2024 in Sioux Falls. Seven have come since the start of June. Schaefer was accused by a woman of inappropriately touching her child and called for police early Saturday morning to remove him from a residence in North Central Sioux Falls. Court documents later say Schaefer denied that allegation. When police arrived, though, Schaefer was dead and appeared to have been shot multiple times. Dylan Farmer was arrested and charged with murder, with court documents alleging that he had told police, quote, I had shot him in the face because he touched a boy, and quote, I want to go to jail. He allegedly said this to police a day before during a separate incident, only to be let go and arrested later. There's still an ongoing investigation to uh, process this, uh, items from the scene and track down anybody else that may have uh, been involved or present. Sioux Falls Police Chief John Toome says this homicide, while another one in Sioux Falls this year, isn't tied to any other homicide and isn't random either. Each one uniquely different, each have unique circumstances, and none of them were random. There's all a story behind each one. He says people should avoid placing a rise in homicides this year compared to the last year at two as a sign that Sioux Falls is changing character. Rather than look at some broad numbers or some broad generalizations, if you dig into numbers, each one of these has a story, each one of these has a tragic victim, uh, and each one needs to be looked at in that regard and not necessarily in pushing a narrative about something or something within our community. Toom says this is a part of the ebb and flow of crime, and these incidents, while unfortunate, are not unheard of. Our aggravated assaults are actually down for the year. Our stolen cars are actually down for the year. All of our major property crimes captions are actually down for the year. For this year, we have the unfortunate uh, spot to be in a trend where our homicides are trending up. Toom says, though, this rising trend in homicides this year is something they want to reverse. Farmer had his first court appearance today, and police say they're waiting for autopsy results on Schaefer.